Hey there, it's Daniel from thegoodax.com where you can get free Google Docs templates and guides. And this time we'll switch on the doc outline in Google Docs. I think an outline in a big document is a must. A faster navigation, a clear document structure and, most importantly, direct links to those specific parts of the document. There's a lot of benefits of using document outline in Google Docs. And let's go create one for ourselves. So, first of all, you might already have that document outline structure with headings in your doc. Since Google Docs automatically creates headings throughout your progress on the doc. Maybe all you need is to just turn on its display. For that, we press the view item on the toolbar. Locating the show document outline line and clicking on it. There you have it on the left with all headings in your doc, which are links to those headings over the whole document. So when you press it, it naturally throws you to that specific heading in the doc. That's how it works. So now you saw the automatic outline creation done by Google Docs itself, but frequently and normally you create it yourself. But if for you it wasn't created automatically, it's okay. Let's go create headings manually. So here it's about different heading and subheading styles. On a separate line in the doc, you enter your text for heading. Highlight it with mouse. Go to the button with normal text on it. And select, let's say, heading 1. There it is. Now it's in the document outline as well. And then for subheading, you create a one more separate line and highlight it. Go to Text Style and choose Heading 2. There it is. It is a text with smaller font size and it looks smaller in the doc structure on the left as a subheading. And that's how it works. Then it just keeps going. Let's create one more line, highlight it. Go to Text Style and select Heading 3. Now it's a sub subheading. But when you create one more line and make its Text Style Heading 1 again, it will become a new kind of main heading in the outline one more time. And then you add subheadings below it the same way. That's how it works. And if we go to just another page where there's no any headings and click on some heading from a structure, we will get thrown to that specific heading and the text below it. Hundreds more guides and a lot of free Google Docs templates on the goodocs.com following the link below the video. Like to help share our videos to more people and subscribe to see more guides. I hope we helped you. Thank you for watching.